hey there media mail gang you know goodwill is playing loud music that's gonna give me copywritten so i am going to do a voiceover uh new thrifting style today we're trying it out for the channel we'll see how you guys like it just diving right into it so we are at a goodwill that i do not frequent it's about 30 35 minutes away from me and i don't know why i don't frequent this one um it's a really quick trip out there but for whatever reason, I don't. So today I decided, you know what? I want to get out of the house. Let's see what we can find. And their books just blew me away. This is probably going to be a new honey hole for me. And before anybody freaks out, Izzy is out of frame, but she is with Brendel by the cart. I did not walk away from my baby, <laughs> okay? Uh, so yeah, guys, essentially I'm doing what I always tell you to do in my videos. I am looking at every single stack um, and every single shelf and just kind of viewing things this immediately caught my eye uh, beautiful condition really great shape they wanted four dollars so guys again just a reminder i am just based on my book knowledge and what i'm kind of looking for i'm looking for nonfiction, really harder to find books educational that type of thing this book unfortunately i've seen it about five different times now with my free book pickups and they just don't sell for what i think they would um i checked the inside just to make sure it's the same kind of books i've been seeing and they just don't sell for some reason which is a little disappointing um this quest bible is still in the box i thought it might be brand new so that's why i initially grabbed it um unfortunately after further inspection it was not brand new and even pre-owned, it's not really quite at the criteria that I would like it to be for a $4 price tag. So I did put that back on the shelf. And for transparency, this was probably my bad buy for the day. It is a, um, according to Google Translate, it's a Korean book, Happy Words Dictionary 2. I have not been able to find it still. Uh, I found it on one website that's in Korean, and I can't really tell much else <laughs> about it. Um, but I was just so stubborn with it and just kept trying to find information. And I thought I found a listing finally on Amazon, and the profit looked good, but it, it's not the same listing. Another reminder to just look up Bibles, guys. Know your Bibles. Know what sells. So... I continue to browse and I found this book and it was exciting at first. I thought, ooh, maybe it's a first edition, first printing. Uh, but unfortunately, Fool's Die doesn't go anywhere near for as much as The Godfather and the other books written by this person, so I left it on the shelf. All right, guys, so again, just browsing, looking at shelves, just you gotta take it one shelf at a time, review the spines, look things over, whatever catch your attention first, and then look a second and third time, and then keep it moving. Um, whatever's meant for you, you'll find. Just know that. Don't worry about having any fear of missing out or anything like that. Just keep browsing. Look at every single shelf and see what's available. Now, the sets at the bottom, I'm sure that's probably profitable, but it's not my cup of tea doing large sets like that, encyclopedias or dictionaries or whatever it is. I just, it's not my thing. Um, and I know sometimes I leave money on the table, but it is just a pain in the neck to ship out and I won't do it. So I just leave it. And here, this honestly just caught my eye. Um, it kind of looked like a fantasy or sci-fi novel. And uh, so I decided to check it out for Amazon and it was a good buy. I'm probably going to sound like a broken record in this video, but Bibles sell. I have no problem selling Bibles. They're one of my favorite things to sell. Uh, the Bible is probably the most popular book still sold in the U.S. So, and I noticed another one over here, and so I grabbed that one. And that one, while it wasn't the best find of the day, it was still another awesome slam dunk. And I'm not going to lie, guys, at this point, I'm pumped. I'm like, dang, I still got it. I can still go out in thrift stores and find good stuff. And I mean, pretty much everything I'm touching, like I'm not doing a whole lot of editing this video. Pretty much everything I touched 
was pretty decent profit and that was really exciting because I do so many book pickups it just makes me worried sometimes that I've lost my touch and I'm glad that I haven't. Now I'll be honest I've gotten so many children's books especially vintage children's books through my free book pickups it just has not I'm sick of seeing them right now <laughs> but I figured I would at least give it a glance and immediately I saw this Berenstain Bears, um, and so that's something I want to try and get on Dibbed It. I really want to start putting more items on Dibbed It, so that's going up. Side note, if you don't like voiceovers, I'm sorry, but this Goodwill had music blaring the whole time, so I'm kind of stuck. But this I decided to purchase for my niece. It's like new. That's going in an Easter basket. Fun fact about me, this is my favorite soundtrack and also something me and my sisters grew up on, so I bought this for my niece too. And I decided to grab these. There were some pretty cool sets. I decided to grab all of them and uh, list them on to Dibbed It. So those will be going up soon as well if anyone has interest and the link will be in the description. $27 uh, total spent and that also includes a little book that I bought um, Izzy so probably closer to like 25 and then you guys saw some of the potential profit with some of those books so you guys can see that the total potential profit I have to say potential because it all depends on if the item sells at that price um, between eBay and Amazon and how my brain kind of works what I look for and why I choose between Amazon and eBay for different, you know, some of the Bibles will go to Amazon, some of it will go to eBay, it just depends. So now you guys kind of have an idea of how my brain works with that. And right on cue, my GoPro died. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.